All right, cycle number 20. I do not have too much of a plan for this one. I have this drawing I did in my sketchbook that I scanned in of this mischievous, high-stepping, jazz-handing theater kid dinosaur. And yeah, I'm just gonna start drawing. I'm just gonna see what happens. Um, I imagine he's, he's gonna be uh, walking forward, but maybe it'll just be something in place. There'll be some hand-waving going on, I imagine. I don't know if I want that tail coming towards the screen. Maybe that'll happen. Maybe there'll be a bunch of movement on the head and the body. Not sure. Uh, I, like I say, I'm just gonna see where the drawings take me and uh, not, uh, not have any preconceptions going into it. So <laughs> we'll, see, uh, we'll see how it is in two hours from now. See if I'm laughing or if I'm just <laughs> mystified by what came out. All right, let's go. turned out. I've talked about it before that uh, I, I just flip individual drawings. I don't play. If it was in 3D, there'd be a play blaster or render, but I don't, uh, I don't line test. I don't uh, see how the animation is all working out. I only go frame by frame by frame. I look at the in-betweens before and after. I make sure that's all hooking up. I flip between them, but I don't ever play it. So when I play it at the end, it's always a, a bit of a surprise. Let's, uh, let's have a look now. And understanding that uh, the tail and the, the spikes and the stomach uh, lines are all, are all left for polish. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a neat, fun motion. See, this is so much further, I mean, uh, when I started this, I didn't have anything particularly in mind, but around the third drawing, I thought, oh, I wonder if I can have him leaning back. That's the way that it started to go. And then I started stretching out the arms, stretching out the legs, really giving them lots of smear and uh, pushing them as far as I could. Uh, you know, there's a lot of volume changes there with the arms and the legs. Uh, that's when I started leaning the head back. I was thinking, yeah, by drawing six or seven, I might completely lean the head back and have it come forward. And that worked out. That worked out pretty well. The, the nose, uh, I, I definitely changed the model there. I brought the nose much more in front of the uh, character. And then uh, on the initial drawing, it was off to the side, uh, very cheated uh, in perspective. Ah, yeah, those arms, yeah, those, those arcs worked out really well. The reversal on the elbows there is, is playing nicely. Same with the legs and the knees. Uh, the, the one up in the air. The one on the ground, that worked out pretty well. I wasn't, uh, three or four drawings in, it was like, oh, I guess I think I'm going to uh, have him balancing on his toe there. I was not sure how that was going to work out at all. But it worked well enough. It's, uh, it's a bit odd uh, that the character is balancing on three toes the entire time. But it's, uh, it's playing itself out. All right, yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a fun one. That's, a, that's And really taking advantage of the full screen there, saying, okay, I'm going to go to the top of the screen, I'm going to go to the sides of the screen, going to take advantage of the piece of digital paper as much as I can, fill it up. All right, fun stuff. Yeah, I hope you, hope you like that one. That was good. I, I, again, it's a little bit more mentally draining to go in without a plan, it's not like this was how I visualized it ahead of time. This was just what I made up along the way. But uh, it's, it's, uh, it's exciting. It's more fun in a way to uh, just 
see where it goes and again draw myself into a corner by about drawing eight or nine and then think okay how am I going to get out of this corner and match up the cycle <laughs> all right fun stuff that's cycle 20 50 to go more to come and uh, thanks for checking it out see you next time